Alrighty guys, so here's what I'm dealing with with the 3910 tire. You guys can look at this uh, valve stem here. You guys can also see the rim is fairly rotted. But for right now, I'm going to just put a new valve core in, which I just, uh, just bought. I was letting the air out of it. Yesterday I took this off. I drilled and tapped the center of this and put a regular valve core in it just to hold it. And uh, it's not right because it's actually supposed to be longer. Obviously, like I said, the end broke off. When I screwed the cap off up there at uh, Tim's place, the end broke off. So, All right, I'm going to let the air drain out of this. And I'll take it over and I'll show you guys the difference on the bench between the old and new. And I might as well show you guys some other issues while I'm around here. I think you guys can see that cobbled up mess. So, from what I have seen with these loader brackets. Okay, this leaves falling. I thought it was something walking. Anyhow, there's supposed to be a bracket that goes... From these two bosses here to that boss there and it kind of surrounds the power steering where it goes off of the two bosses right there you can see to down below and goes around the power steering so and the other side is cobbled up just as bad and if not worse it's actually like scary this side over here might be might be a factory mount, I don't know. But anyhow, I see the power steering cylinder on the other side is leaking. That's why I wanted to use it some yesterday and then just park it and then just see if I get any huge puddles that I didn't already know about. So far, not really anything except for this power steering cylinder. Which I'm pretty sure is the cylinder. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a cylinder. Looks like it's leaking a little bit off that line there too. But anyhow, like I said, I'll get back to this. I think it's about drained out the whole way. Here, we'll see if we can't do it on camera. See if we can flew it up. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bench and show you guys what this is supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. So there's what it's supposed to look like, and you guys can see how much of that is missing. So I'm going to go screw that in, and we'll put some air to it, and see what happens here. Very interesting, Mr. Bond. But for anybody who doesn't know, these are, these are considered CH3, and they're for... They're basically cores for liquid filling tires. Basically, you unscrew this and screw... A piece into what's left in the rim and then you can uh, put liquid in the tires so, so anyhow if you never liquid full tires before that's how you do it so put that in the junk pile and go back out there okay so i flipped this rim around and i think as you guys can see we have contact and that's why it's on that way This is actually a narrower tire on this side. I don't know. I really don't want to swap them. Swap them both. But I really think it's the tire. This tire is just like extra fat. If you look at it compared to the other side. I don't have near as good of a light on the other side. But you see how much room's in there. Now you can, hopefully. There's not a lot, but there is about a finger's width. This over here is a a Coser. This is a Coser. Hopefully, you guys can read that. Coser RT or RD. And this is actually a 235, no, this is a 235-85-16. And the other side, I'm pretty sure is a 265. 
Unless... Unless... I was reading it wrong. No, it's a 285. Okay. So they're the same tire side to side, but different brands. So I don't know if it's the... The rim? I'm trying to measure the spacing a little bit. So it's about with that light. Obviously you guys aren't going to be able to tell this, but it's got to be the rim, because see how much... Well, that don't make no sense either, because if it was that much further out... No, it's about the same. It's the tire. This is just like a way bigger tire. So, I have to keep my eyes out for a little bit narrower. 16 inch, 235. Uh, 85 tire. So, good to know. So for now, A is I want to see if it's the same as a Chevy 6 bolt rim. Uh, pattern. If it is, I can find some more of those. But, I just want to check out the pattern, so. <sighs> Flip the wheel back around so I can move it. And keep using it the way it is, and... I have to keep my eyes peeled for another tire, I guess. Or another rim. Do I want to put tractor tires back on this? I don't know. Like tri ribs? Hard to say. Money. You know, money talks. So the PTO and the three point and everything work on this. I just realized what the noise was from the seat. The shear pin on the brush hog broke. Huh. I don't know why it broke the shear pin. That's weird. I don't know why it broke that shear pin unless it was already <laughs> broke to start with. Well, yeah, I'll have to see if I got some more shear bolts handy and get that fixed here. I don't know why I broke the shear pin though. That's kind of wild. Unless it's the way the brush hog engages on this. Because it doesn't really... Like the second stage of the clutch doesn't work in this if it's supposed to have a two stage clutch. Because it kind of, it doesn't go in for a second and then it goes in all at once. So... I don't know. Unless there's something I don't know about. I don't know if that's for the draft or what that is. I don't know what that is. It has a S and an H on it. Nothing I'm missing that I'm aware of, anyhow. But anyhow, PTO works. What are you gonna do? Can't have your cake and eat it too all the time. Mm-hmm. Take two, new shear bolt.
here's what I learned from that. It is definitely the way <laughs> that clutch engages. It shears the bolts. So, unfortunately, this is not going to be a good brush hogging tracker with this brush hog. <laughs> Literally, I've engaged it twice. I've sheared it twice. This time, <laughs> I haven't gone anywhere, so let's see if I can't find the pieces, but it definitely... Uh, it sheared it off. I didn't really hear it hit the brush hog, but... It sheared it off clean. Well, that's what I need to know. So the way that that clutch engages is brush hog just won't work on there. Because it like engages all at once. So probably... <laughs> In order to start the brush hog, if I uh, started it with the PTO in gear, which I don't know if it'll let me do or not, probably wouldn't shear them bolts. But that that will be a pain. Hmm, you guys can't see. I'm looking for the bolt. Just try and find it. But well, now I know. So I need to get a brush hog or another brush hog with a slip clutch on for this. Great. Of course, I just can't use what I have. No, that'd be too easy. Well, now I know. So uh, I can't use my brush hog. <laughs> Bummer. I do have a free flail mower coming. That'll probably go on the back of this, maybe. So, you know, blessing in disguise. So the nine ends jobs will still be the nine ends jobs. All right, let me get the sheer pin drove out of here and take the brush hog off. And I'll probably put the back blade on this. That'll give it some weight and that'll be something useful on the back of it. So, anyhow, now I know. So it's been uh, fairly chilly here. Oh, hopefully not blocking the lake too much. In the 40s today, it only got up into the 50s for a little bit. And it's down uh, way back in the 40s again. It's not in the 30s right now, so what the old big Ford will do here. rather uneventful. I didn't know if this thing was going to be a pain to start in a cold or not and the answer is I don't think so. So I'll sit and let it warm up for a little while. It's going to have to do some work tomorrow. I got a mower coming for it. I got to offload with it. So I'll do some video whenever, whenever I get back with it. Hopefully in the daylight for once. Alrighty guys, moment of truth here. I, I didn't take any video of doing this, but I cut the bar out of this so I can actually see the dash. Anybody need some industrial green fence post? Got about three foot of it. So the only thing I'm going to do is, I'm glad I left this on here the whole way because I didn't know how stable it was and it's not. So I'm going to tighten this bolt up here, and I'm assuming the one on the other side too, yeah. Just tighten the bolt up, and whatever it is, it is. I don't know if it's just kind of sitting on there otherwise or not. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I thought it was welded here, but could show you what I know. Oh well. 
The old what could possibly go wrong gag. I got all the bolts out. Let's use the loader to take that grill off because that grill I believe is pretty heavy. looking right now as somebody said so I'll take some pictures of this and while I am not going to throw this grill guard away a is I want to look and see what's going on up here um, I'll sit the loader back down and then I'll, I'll flip the hood up I just it's Friday the 13th so I don't want to be under anything like that and just want to see what's up here in the front I uh, never had this one apart the other thing is, I'd like to add headlights to this thing. I've seen headlights in many different places on these, so... Anyhow, see where I end up. Uglier, but better. Still kind of in the shadow there, but... At least it's lit up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm about done for tonight. It's a little after 8 o'clock. Yeah, pretty close to 8 o'clock, so... I'm gonna hang it up. Later, guys.